Are we nearing the end of the Fran McCaffrey era? Jack McCaffrey, Fran's youngest, not expected to attend Iowa. He's a part of a very talented 2025 class. We'll talk about that bombshell that broke here a few days ago and some of the response, including from the fans and from his older brother, Patrick, in just a second. But first, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Iowa Floor Covering, and their Tough Core Click Together 4.5 millimeter waterproof vinyl flooring. We've been touting this stuff for a while now. Certainly give it a shot. Uh, this great rate with self installation, 269 per foot with self installation. Visit iowafloorcovering.com slash DIY. And how about Ascent Nutrition and their awesome mushroom products? How about their Lion's Mane Mushroom? It's organic. It's been shown to support brain health, memory, healthy stress response, just overall health for your immune system. You can mix it into yogurt, smoothies, juices, granola, whatever the case may be. And you can use the code Hawkeyes. We've been touting that code for quite some time. Use that code Hawkeyes for 15% off whatever you order via GoAscentNutrition.com. But again, these mushroom products just uh, broke here a few months ago. Check them out. Again, GoAscentNutrition.com and scroll down to read more about this great product. Lion's Mane Mushroom from Ascent Nutrition. So the news that has Hawkeye Nation buzzing, at least the uh, men's basketball fans out there, Jack McCaffrey making it pretty clear to 247 Sports here a few days ago that he does not plan to attend Iowa. Now, the open recruiting period uh, did begin here a few days ago. So schools are contacting 2025 recruits. And of course, it's still just June 18th, 2023, as I record this video. But early contacts are being made. And Jack McCaffrey is considered a top 100 player across the board. And according to 247 Sports, he's the 51st best player in the country. So if you compare him to his brothers, and they're different players, you watch him on tape, he is the best prospect of the three. And I'll just read you an excerpt from this article, and it was Travis Branham, who is a 247 sports writer who is a college basketball guy. This is what Travis wrote, and again, quoting Jack McCaffrey here in this article. It says, Jack McCaffrey, the son of Iowa head coach Ram McCaffrey, ranks as the number 51 overall prospect in the 25 class, and since the recruiting period opened on Thursday, he is hearing from Two high major programs, and one of those is not Iowa, folks. We'll skip down here with McCaffrey being the son of the Hawkeyes head coach. Many would expect him to follow the suit like his brothers, but Jack says differently. I don't think I will go there, says McCaffrey. I made that up in my mind a while ago. I want to get away from home. I talked to my parents and brothers about it, and I think that's the best thing for me. Since the recruiting period opened at midnight, two high major programs reached out to express interest and begin the process of finding him home away from home. Notre Dame and Ohio State both texted me at midnight. He said, it's been pretty slow because I think a lot of schools think I'm going to Iowa. But they both texted me, and I'm supposed to have a call with Micah Shrewsbury today. So Notre Dame and Ohio State, let's keep this in mind before we get into what this means for Iowa, that Jack's mom, Margaret, played basketball at Notre Dame back in the day. And, of course, Fran McCaffrey coached. He was an assistant coach with Dr. Phelps back in the day. Uh, with the Fighting Irish, so strong connections, and Jack even mentioned that in this article, that he kind of grew up a Notre Dame fan, which is interesting when you think about it. He grew up a Notre Dame fan, and yet he's basically grown up in Iowa. I mean, you think about when he moved here, I'd have to do the math. Would that mean he was like four when he moved here? And yet he kind of grew up a Notre Dame fan. So, hey, that's the power of an alma mater for, again, Margaret, and there are obviously strong ties with Fran. Now, as it relates to Iowa, what does this mean? Some people on social media jumping to the conclusion that this means that Fran will not be here in 2025. And I am not here to break any news to you about inside information I have about Fran McCaffrey's plans in the immediate future and the years to come. And based on the information I've been given over the last few days uh, from people who are better connected to the program than I am, I don't think a lot of people know what Fran is going to do. I don't. I think Fran is keeping that on the down low, and I think the family is going to be keeping it on the down low. Now, Patrick McCaffrey did respond to some of the speculation uh, on Twitter and on social media following this article being published. And this is what Patrick said in response to the article and to uh, his brother's words about going somewhere else. He said, 10 toes down with my baby brother always. This is a decision he made for himself. Has nothing to do with my father retiring or going anywhere else. Uh, Patrick needs to learn about capitalization, but I digress. Uh, So this is obviously what Patrick is saying. And what else is he going to say, folks? 
Just because Patrick McCaffrey puts it on Twitter that, hey, this has nothing to do with my father retiring. Guess what, folks? It doesn't mean Fran's not retiring. It also doesn't mean he is retiring, right? We can speculate to death, but all I've heard is exactly that, speculation. I've heard someone say, hey, I think this is going to be Fran's last year. I've heard other people say, hey, uh, it's, it's looking like Fran will be gone at least by the time Jack gets to school in 2025. So maybe he gives it a couple more years, Fran does, and then he hangs it up. Look, the bottom line is we don't know. Fran conceivably had an opportunity to get hired at a place like Notre Dame during this past offseason. Now, Fran, at 64 years old, is probably not quite the commodity that Micah Shrewsbury was. Remember, Micah, incredibly successful at Penn State in a short stint. So my guess is, even if Fran wanted to get the job at Notre Dame, that Shrewsbury was probably higher on the list. Maybe rightfully so. Fran has obviously brought a lot of success to Iowa. He's returned this program basically to what it was under Dr. Tom Davis. Let's address the elephant in the room. Iowa has struggled to get past the first weekend. In fact, they haven't gotten past the first weekend of the NCAA tournament, but they are a perennial NCAA caliber team and a team that's basically made the tournament almost every year since he's been here, with the exception being that first year. And of course, he had a couple NIT years in there as he was building the program. And then the one miss, I believe it was 2017, when they narrowly missed out on the tournament. They had the one year with COVID. They were going to make the tournament probably a five or six seed that year with Luca Garza, CJ Frederick, and company. And uh, COVID halted that. But the point is, Fran McCaffrey has brought this program back to where it was in the 80s and 90s. A lot of fans have run out of patience because they place a lot of emphasis on the NCAA tournament. I'm not telling you you're wrong if you feel that way. I do think that sometimes the accomplishments of a guy like Fran McCaffrey are overlooked because of placing too much emphasis on March in a one-and-done type of format. Let's acknowledge the fact that Fran McCaffrey led an Iowa team to a Big Ten tournament title just a little over, well, about a year and a half ago, not even that long ago, a little over a year ago. And the, again, he's he's brought this team to national relevance. They won an early season tournament some years ago. Uh, it was a UConn-Oregon uh, tournament. You probably remember that one. I think it was out in New York. I'm not asking you to get behind Fran McCaffrey because of some Thanksgiving week tournament win four years ago. I'm just simply saying those are some of the accomplishments on his resume. He has struggled to get the high-end recruits, and some would argue that it's going to be hard for any Iowa coach to bring in the big names. And you do wonder, if Fran is planning on retiring closer to 65 or 66 years old, perhaps NIL was a bit of a stimulant to make that happen a little bit sooner than maybe he expected and the family expected. Uh, again, we're speculating. I, I, I'm not telling you what to believe, but these are some of the different possibilities. It is possible that Jack just wants to go somewhere else. Is it possible that Jack just doesn't want to be a part of the social media hogwash that comes with being the son of a head coach? And I'm not ripping the Iowa fan base. Patrick McCaffrey, Connor McCaffrey, along with Jordan Bohannon, even though Jordan's not one of the kids, those guys have always been very active on Twitter. And with being active on Twitter comes confrontation and back and forth. And I'm not saying that's caused great anxiety and issues for the McCaffreys. Now, Patrick has dealt with anxiety. He's had out some of last season because of it. It doesn't sound like Patrick's going to be coming back for an extra COVID year. It sounds like this is going to be his final year at Iowa if things go to plan. So I don't know. How would you evaluate the McCaffrey's experience at Iowa? And I'm talking about Patrick and Connor because one would think that those two guys' experiences, what they attest to with their younger brother and what he's observed with their careers at Iowa would play some sort of a role into whether Jack even considered playing for his dad. And I think a lot of people just expected him. They just concluded that Jack is going to play for Iowa. But I'm just acknowledging the idea and the possibility that perhaps Jack didn't want to be a part of all the extracurricular uh, that comes from playing for your dad. Perhaps Jack is just more of an independent kid, wants to get out on his own, get out of Iowa City. All those things are a possibility, and it may have nothing to do with Fran McCaffrey retiring. I will say this, and I'm not making any predictions. This is not me coming on here to make predictions. I would not be shocked at all if Fran is gone in a year or two. And I'm not saying I was going to fire. They're not going to fire him. That's not what I'm implying. At 64 years old, with some of the struggles recruiting, with NIL being here, and some people look at Fran and say, well, hey, he's willing to go after the big names. I think he's been pretty malleable and uh, flexible with the new uh, NIL setup, and he seems willing to embrace it. Here's the problem, folks. 
the way the collective is set up, the way NIL is set up, you have to have the support of the big name donors. And I think it's clear from some of the recent activity with football recruiting, Caleb Brown, Cade McNamara, et cetera, some of the guys that football has been able to reel in, in spite of the fact that Kirk was a bit slow to embrace NIL and what it meant for recruiting in the transfer portal. You compare that with some of the struggles Iowa basketball has had, and I don't want anybody to come back to me and say, well, look, they got Philip Robracha, they got Ben Cricky. Neither of those guys came to Iowa because of NIL. So let's just let's just flush that narrative. Fran has struggled to bring in, to reel in the big names via the transfer portal these last couple of years and use NIL as an incentive. And I think I was one of the people that just expected him to be able to use the collective as that incentive. But let's not forget that they need the big donors to embrace what they're doing and to care enough to say, hey, this money is for this, this money is for this. That's just how it's working right now. I mean, whether you like NIL or not, there are a lot of big money people that are supporting the cause with recruiting on the football side of things via NIL. And I don't think nearly as many, I can tell you with a certainty, not nearly as many big name, big donor, big money people on the basketball side willing to throw the type of money that Iowa needs, that Fran needs to recruit and compete at that level. So perhaps that's part of this storyline. We just don't know. And here's the other scenario, the one we didn't talk about. Jack could end up coming to Iowa. He could end up transferring to Iowa. Heck, he could sign with Iowa, right? I mean, we're just, he's a 2025 recruit. He hasn't committed anywhere and he certainly hasn't signed anywhere. So things can change. But Jack has made it clear Hawkeye Nation, don't be surprised if and when he commits somewhere else. Now, it will be strange if Fran is somehow still here in 25, 26. Jack's playing for Ohio State. That'll be a little bit strange. This is not like Fred Hoiberg's son, who was a walk on playing at Michigan State. Jack McCaffrey is a high major kid who will play wherever he goes. And I wish him the best, but uh, that's where we're at. We'll just have to wait this thing out. But with Iowa switching ADs, Gary Barter retiring in August, they'll get an interim AD with Beth Getz, and then we'll see who Iowa hires. I think it'll probably be Beth, but we'll wait and see. There's been speculation about Kirk Ferentz and his future. I still don't think he loves the NIL world, even though I think he's got some backing from the big money people around the Iowa program. And now with Fran McCaffrey, it's kind of a wake-up call to, hey, we as an Iowa fan base have had some older coaches at the helm in the big-name sports, specifically men's basketball, football, and even from an administrative standpoint, uh, the AD in Gary Barta. Iowa could be facing a trio of very important hires over the next few seasons. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But wanted to jump on here and chat a little bit about the Jack McCaffrey News, I do think it's newsworthy. It surprised me. I'm not going to lie. It absolutely surprised me. I know some people told me, hey, I, they, we've known this for a while. I did not know about this until it broke, and it did surprise me when I read this article from 247 Sports. Appreciate you tuning in for another segment. Please tell me what you thought of the Jack McCaffrey news. And if Fran McCaffrey walks away next couple of seasons, does that make you more sad or happy? I know some people are already ready for Fran to be gone, just like they're ready for Kirk to be gone. I'm not necessarily one of those people, but tell me what you thought in the comments. Also, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications when we go live and we post new content here on the channel, and we'll talk to you next time.